Jesus didn't say that he would show us a way. He said that he is the way. He didn't promise to teach us the truth. He said that he is the truth. Jesus didn't offer us the secrets to life. He said that he is the life. Ultimately, Jesus would be crucified, convicted by liars, and buried. In John 13 through 17, Jesus refers to the Father 53 times. Here, he was talking about the disciples' future home as the Father's house. Today, home doesn't mean everything it used to mean. To some people, a Father's house is not a pleasant thought. But when Jesus used that term, he was talking about home in terms of everything home is intended to be. Heaven is a wonderful home. We are going to the Father's place. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you, our home. When you come to the house of God, you are home, and Jesus is preparing our eternal home. The Lord will come back again into the air when those who have died in faith will be raised. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 to 18 Now we do not want you to be uninformed believers about those who are asleep in death, so that you will not grieve for them as the others do who have no hope beyond this present life. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, as in fact he did, even so God in this same way, by raising them from the dead, will bring with him those believers who have fallen asleep in Jesus. For we say this to you by the Lord's own word, that we who are still alive and remain until the coming of the Lord, will in no way proceed into his presence, those believers who have fallen asleep in death. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a shout of command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the blast of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain on the earth will simultaneously be caught up, raptured together with them, the resurrected ones, in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore comfort and encourage one another with these words concerning our union with believers who have died. Jesus laid plans for the Holy Spirit to finish the work he had begun. Scripture demonstrates that Jesus' ascension was a literal and bodily return to heaven. As he rose slowly from the ground, he was received into a cloud, while his disciples and other astonished onlookers stared in wonder as he rose. Then two angels appeared and promised Christ's return in just the same way that you have watched him go. Acts chapter 1 verse 11 Who said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in just the same way as you have watched him go into heaven. This marked the end of the human limitations Jesus had during his earthly ministry. Some of the attributes he possessed as God had been temporarily suspended, but now the suspension was over. His heavenly glory returned a glimpse of which was seen at the transfiguration. King David said in Psalms chapter 110 verse 1, The Lord, Father, says to my Lord, the Messiah, his Son, Sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet, subjugating them into complete submission. Jesus' place is at the right hand of God, the place of divine honor. Other passages that indicate Jesus' presence in heaven are Matthew chapter 26 verse 64 Jesus said to him, You have in fact said it, but more than that I tell you, regardless of what you do with me now, in the future 
you will see me revealed as a son of man, seated at the right hand of power, and coming on the clouds of heaven. Luke chapter 22 verse 69 But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 Which he produced in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 Therefore, if you have been raised with Christ to a new life, sharing in his resurrection from the dead, Keep seeking the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 Looking away from all that will distract us, and focusing our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of faith, the first incentive for our belief, and the one who brings our faith to maturity, who for the joy of accomplishing the goal, set before him endured the cross, disregarding the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, revealing his deity, his authority, and the completion of his work. Revelation chapter 5 verse 7 And he came and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. In the moments before he passed away, Stephen had a vision in which he looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Acts chapter 7 verse 55 But he, being full of the Holy Spirit and led by him, gazed into heaven and saw the glory, the great splendor and majesty of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. According to the Bible, Jesus currently resides in an actual location known as heaven, a realm of glory and home to God, God's angels, and all of God's redeemed children.